Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, something new, something different. Sitting home a little bored here with lockdown and coronavirus, and it got me thinking about what I could do uh, to kind of pass time and then also do something constructive at the same time. So that led me to thinking about creating a mask. Uh, because they recently made these mandatory if you go out of the house here I'm sure it is the same around the world uh, wherever you guys are watching from and then I was like okay well what can I make a mask out of I've got a whole bunch of clothes and things like that but then I was like hold on a second what about those sneakers now if you guys have been following me on the Instagram pages and been in my Q&A's and things like that you would have seen that I've got two pairs of fake sneakers uh, one of which I was scammed on eBay which was the 750s uh, not this pair but a look-alike a fake version of that one and then what I have right here the Converse Off-Whites now these were sent to me from a friend of mine who wanted me to legit check them his girlfriend had picked them up in Vietnam and he wasn't quite sure turns out they are very very fake now I've been sitting with these shoes and those 750s not really knowing what to do with them uh, other than just to like give them away but I give away a lot of shoes in fact if you rock up at my doorstep and you don't have shoes on your feet you're more than likely going to be leaving with a pair of shoes but the fact of the matter is there's something about fake shoes that just really really irks me and even giving these to like a homeless person is just doesn't feel right I'd rather give them a real pair of shoes and I know a shoe is a shoe and it doesn't really make a difference to anyone who's like in need but you know what I thought with these I'm gonna actually just try and do something cool that I can get some wearability out of or at least some functionality out of uh, for this so now just a disclaimer before I start dismantling the shoe and doing this mask or at least trying to make what I think is gonna be a mask I've never ever cut a shoe before ever it's like completely sacrilegious to me like I'm no shoe surgeon or anything like that. I don't have any experience in this. So if I end up cutting myself open here, at least it will make for good entertainment. But hopefully that does not happen. Touch wood. And having looked online now at a couple of other different mask variations, these really are not the kind of shoes you want to create a mask out of. From what I've seen, you really need something that's like a runner style, that's got a nice little heel section with neoprene on it that you can just create that little mask section out of. High tops, especially like ballistic mesh kind of knockoff things. I don't really see this working out too well, but I'm gonna go ahead with it and just see what happens uh, and see what I can make of it. You know, it could be cool, it could be really, really shit. So hopefully you'll stick around and find out which it's gonna be. Now, before I get into dismantling these uh, into their individual panels to try and figure out how I'm gonna actually create this mask, I do have a few tools here. This one I saw, uh, from an online video one person said that heating up the blade really really helps uh, in cutting the materials and it kind of singes the edges off uh, so it makes a really clean cut so I got a little blowtorch here from my cooking drawer over here it's pretty powerful I'm, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna hurt myself. Then I've just got some different knives over here. These are like craft knives. Just picked these up at a hardware store. They were really cheap, so I'm not expecting fireworks from those. And then just like a Stanley knife knockoff over here as well. And then also I have this little mask over here, which is like a respirator mask of some sort. I don't know, it's also from a hardware store, Dro Air. Um, I just got this because I think it could be a cool sort of base for this mask. So if I've got it over here, uh, then I can kind of build the shoe fabric around it and try to pick up some details of this particular pair. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get ahead on it and uh, start cutting the shoe up. I literally don't know where I'm even gonna start. I'm gonna start by taking the laces out. Um, so let's just kind of see how this goes. It feels super weird to be like cutting up a shoe, even though it is a fake, it's like, what are these things like? Two thousand dollars? Like real ones? I don't know. Seems crazy. But yeah, I guess this is what we have to do when uh, we've got lots of time on our hands. So right here, you've got the central tongue piece. It's just one piece that runs all the way into the toe box, uh, and then it's basically like one piece of fabric that wraps all the way around the shoe as well. Uh, the parts I really want to get onto the mask are obviously the off-white branding that signature branding that you get um, obviously there is another shoe in case this goes horribly wrong um, maybe if it starts to work out then I'll cut that one up as well uh, and use bits like the branding on that shoe or I don't know we'll figure that out but 
I think we'll start by just removing all of the different parts of the shoe. Uh, insole, laces, uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and like remove the entire upper. I think that's a good place to start. It's actually coming apart pretty easy uh, just by cutting the threads. Um, so I wanna try and keep doing that uh, so I can basically get a good grip on these individual panels uh, of the shoe. And that's pretty much done that. So that's worked out pretty well. Oh, okay, that went badly. Now I've slipped and cut the upper of the shoe. Sliced it pretty good, so hopefully that's not the end of our mask, but I'm sure it's not. I think I'm gonna continue just cutting it off uh, on the sides of the shoe here. So there's different densities here, obviously because you've got the suede and things like that as the backing and the lining of the shoe. Uh, quite interestingly enough, I'm seeing a whole bunch of foam that's in the heel section there as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys will see that. Um, and yeah, that's just quite interesting how they've basically buffered that up there. Um, you never really see it inside these shoes, so this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so there we have it, the entire upper of this off-white converse. Uh, and this is just what's left. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Quite cool to make like a slide or something out of that. I don't know. Maybe this will turn into something else. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe. How are we looking? Hmm. Should probably have put a mirror here so I can actually see what I'm going to look like. Let me do that. Well, that's turned out a lot better than I expected um, because the nice thing about having this all in one piece is that you can actually get all the way almost around your head uh, and then just have a little clip or something use the shoelaces at the back um, but that said i still think that there might be another way or two let me just have a look to make this a little bit better i kind of wanted to like base it on this mask here so maybe if it's possible can kind of glue it on or I don't know do something um, this thing actually comes out you know what I don't think that's gonna work out well that was probably the easiest mask I've ever made <laughs> if that's gonna be it but I don't know maybe we can also look at adding in some other pieces here quite like this toy box section over here where it just says right obviously the other one says left and those are mismatched between uh, the two. Um, maybe there might be a way to incorporate the tongue. Otherwise, like, I mean, it could literally just be as easy to cut these threads off here. Too. Let's have a look. Okay, might need to rethink the lacing system of that, but. So there we have it. <laughs> High pieced enough? I don't know. <laughs> so this kind of was a bit of a waste because it doesn't really fit. It just goes out too much like for what it is. It's not really necessary. Essentially, you just want to create something that stops you from touching your face. Obviously, this isn't medical grade or anything like that. But what do I know? I'm not a doctor. Pretty cool. If I say so myself and a really easy way to do this okay so that was the definitely the, a lot easier than I was expecting I thought I was gonna have to cut up and re-glue and do a whole bunch of other things and you probably could do that you could probably like try add other little sections uh, and maybe I will do that down the line but that essentially works for me <laughs> does the job I'm really not winning with any other ideas here, but I could always attach the, the hang tag to the side of it. But I mean, I, I don't even wear those on shoes. I'm not gonna wear that on my face. Just gonna shoot you straight there. 
All right, so I've just spent some time relacing this along the top, as you guys can see there. Uh, and, or oh, is it the bottom? No, there, wherever the laces are. And uh, it's made it a little bit more fitted on face. I still want to be able to like bring that up a little bit. Uh, so I want to just try to see if I can like staple it at the back. And, uh, and then it basically grips your face really, really nice. Kind of like a paintball mask of some sort. But essentially at the end of the day, I just want something that's not gonna let me touch my face and be some kind of barricade uh, to everything else out there. Uh, and if I have to have a mask, I might as well have a cool one. <laughs> even if it's not a medical grade one. That's probably quite stupid, don't do that. But yeah, that's it, the finished product, the Off-White Converse face mask something, whatever you wanna call it. But thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick how-to tutorial on how to make a mask out of your shoes. But if you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up. It helps a lot with the algorithm on YouTube over here. So uh, yeah, that'll be great. Otherwise, don't forget, if you wanna see more content like this, hit the notifications on and the subscribe button right here as well. And I will catch you back here with another review or another shoe mask, something, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.